What is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here. Coming to you guys with a side frame, so send you deck profile for you guys here today. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. And guys, as I progress your deck profile, I'll be explaining to you guys some of my card choices I've decided to play in the deck and the reason why I play them. And also, guys, for those of you who, who actually do not want to stay here and watch this entire video, I understand the deck list is right there. So you guys can literally pause this video, copy the deck list, uh, play it on Dev Pro or DN or whatever dual simulator that you guys use and make sure guys after you guys test out this deck let me know what you guys think about this deck and please guys I really want you guys to start commenting on on, on all my videos I felt like commenting is one of is, is really really important since it, it it lets me know what I'm doing wrong and I and I feel like criticisms is really really good guys I, I appreciate all of you uh, like all of you guys criticism I never take any criticism in a negative way I always take it as a way that I can always better myself so guys I always encourage you guys to tell me how this video was how uh, tell me how this deck profile went and uh, give me some suggestions on some of the cards that I, I may I may I might be missing in the deck so I, I know uh, and and so so I know that I should test it out things like that guys so you know what it's really good to uh, for me it's a good way for me to, to connect with you guys if you guys oppose a lot of comments and things like that so make sure you guys you guys always comment so I can connect with you guys one-on-one -on -one. and if you guys want to also connect with me and uh, send me personal messages my Facebook is in the description box below so you guys can check it out and send me messages there I always reply to my messages so uh, make sure you guys if you guys have any questions about decks or any questions about in, about Yu-Gi-Oh in general make sure you guys message me on Facebook so yeah guys, I just want to give you guys a big thank you for giving the other video 100 plus likes. So here it is for the deck profile. You guys are actually reaching my expectations for a video to reach 100 plus likes means a lot to me. So that it shows me that you guys care a lot. And it shows you that you guys are actually a supporter of Team Samurai X1. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. So enough talking. Uh, here it is. The side frames will send you deck profile in depth. I'm going to send you guys all the card choices and the reason why I play them. Uh, so of course you play triple side, side frame driver. You guys don't know what side frame driver is. Of course, it's a it's a psychic warrior that conducts electric shocks, amplifies himself with the power of side frames. He can he can laugh lightning speed assaults on the security force. What the heck? Okay, so you play triple side frame driver. This card is amazing. So without side frame driver in the deck, there would be no singles in the deck. So driver is a key central in the deck. Really really good guys. Of course you play triple side frame gear gamma. Gear gamma is the effect dealer on more crack. Since I always refer Phoenix Shane on crack, uh, because uh, Phoenix Shane stops the effect and of course stops uh, your opponent monsters from attacking. Uh, but Gear Gamma negates the monster effect and also destroys the monster, so uh, he's the effect builder on more crack. If you guys were to say it, so uh, triple Gear Gamma, he's amazing. So basically, when your opponent monster, uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect while you control no cards, uh, you can activate its effect, send it to uh, reveal it, special summon it, special summon a uh, uh, driver from the deck. Then destroy the monster, so he's really, really good. Gamma, uh, Gamma is amazing. As we, of course, triple side frame gear alpha. Alpha is a searcher of the deck. I felt like uh, searchers are really important in, in, in decks nowadays, is because uh, it's able to uh, add your resources to your hand as fast as possible, and it makes your deck more. Excuse me, it makes your deck more consistent. Next up, of course, triple side frame gear beta. Beta is absolutely amazing in this deck, is because uh, it's basically the net cross of Valkyries on more crap. Uh, so basically, it. Uh, skips it, it stops the battle phase it ends the battle phase then it destroys the monster so beta is really really amazing next we have of course the uh, tr uh double side frame gear delta is because uh delta basically negates all the spell effects uh, especially it's really great against the mirror match when your opponent tries to activate of course the circuits you can negate the delta uh, you, you you can negate it with the delta so he's really really good so that's it for your um side frame aspect of the deck next we of course for the yosenju aspect of the deck and the reason why yosenjus are really really good in this deck is because and it has great synergy with the deck and the good thing about this uh this archetype with the side frame archetype is that basically yosenjus if you guys don't know what, what you what yosenjus do they basically summon 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 end phase they return back to your hand leaving you with no cards on the board so then you can activate your side frame effect from your hand so basically on your turn you deal tons and tons and tons of damage you bounce cards back to your point controls to your hand you deal damage end phase you turn it all back during your opponent's turn, your opponent tries to activate effects, negate, act, summon a monster, I search, attack, destroy, skip your battle phase, activate a spell card, negate. So it's just really, really good with this deck. So here are the Yosenju line of the deck. So you play double uh, comma two, triple comma one, which is the best comma in the deck, and of course, double comma two. Um, if you guys want, uh, you guys can play two of each comma, but I have a 
but I would recommend playing three comma ones is because you always want to see comma one and always on another comma in your hand as much as possible so you can get your, your send you combo plays uh, off as fast as possible but of course you want to see of course comma one and three or comma two and three uh, the most so so you're able to get your searches to your hand so it's it's pretty amazing double maxi maxi so Maxi gets your resources to your hand as fast as possible. So you want to see, you always want to see your your uh, side frame negators or your, your, your or your side frame monster effects as much as possible. Uh, so you, Maxi just helps you dig deeper into the deck and get you those cards if your opponent would ever overextend. Uh, so Maxi is one of those resourceful cards that you need in the deck to be able to get you into your uh, more your combo plays and of course more your spawn traps and of course your monsters and uh, getting through your Sanju monsters and getting them to your hand is really really great as well so it's crazy draw power especially for all decks such, such as Necros, Burning Abyss and things like that Maxi is just an amazing card uh, to play in this format overall after the spells you play double 10 key search up your commas uh, double 10 key uh, double power duality I feel like du duality is absolutely amazing in the deck is because on your turn you, you do not special summon at all uh, well, yeah, on your turn, you do not special summon at all. The only thing that you're, that you're gonna do is uh, you're, you're either gonna end your turn while you have no commas, or if you have the commas in your hand, you can normal, normal, normal attack, then end phase return. And Duradi helps you dig deeper into the deck uh, for your resources, such as, of course, your side frame circuits, your overloads, your psychic feel zone, and of course, any of your um, side frame cards. Duradi is just really, really good. And of course, it helps you search it out. Your um, your commas as well. So duality and tanky is really 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 well in the deck, and of course duality just adds tons and tons of consistency into the consistent your deck is. The better that you are uh, in drawing the cards that you need. So duality is just amazing. After your other spells, you play uh, of course double side frame circuit, and of course one chicken game, and then you play of course the one terraforming side frame circuit. Basically, makes you synchro on your opponent's turn, and of course it's uh, basically. Uh, an attack booster uh, when your Cyframe monster declares an attack. So you can discard a, a Cyframe card um, that the Cyframe monster that you're attacking gains attack equal to that attack of the Cyframe monster that was discarded until the end phase. So let's say that you have Omega on board, you discard a driver, so he gains 2500. That's 3200 right uh, No, 4200 right No, 5200 right there. Uh, so it's just really, really good. Now after uh, and of course uh, chick, 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 chicken game. I don't know why Yu-Gi-Oh Pro didn't even change change it. Oh, well they did. They changed the name over there, but they didn't change the name of the card itself. So it's chicken game. This card is really good. It adds consistency to the deck. Helps you draw the card, and uh, and, and if your opponent doesn't destroy this card on their turn, uh, usually if usually when I'm playing against chicken game, I always destroy it. Uh, I always destroy my opponent's chicken game. Uh, it's because if, if 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 I end up drawing next turn, my opponent will just draw an extra card, and, and I don't want that. Uh, so a chicken game this is really really good since it adds the extra card, the extra card for your deck here. Uh, it adds the extra draw power in the deck, so it's just really really good. So chicken game is amazing, and of course you terraforming to add your spell, your fuel spells to your hand. Next to play the probably the best spell card in the deck, uh, psychic fuel zone. Essentially, you, you don't even need psych frame circuit uh, because psychic fuel zone is just so good. Basically, what it does is that it's, it returns two banished. Uh, Psychic monsters that you control and you bring out uh, a synchro monster according to the level that, that you sent to a graveyard. So let's say that you sent out a level 1 and of course a driver. You bring out a level 7, which is a Zeta. Uh, you, you, you bring out, you, you sent to the graveyard. Gamma, uh, Gamma and of course a driver. You bring out level 8, which is an Omega. So Psychic Fuel Zone is, is a literally a one card synchro. So uh, Fuel Zone is absolutely amazing. And sometimes you, you won't even need Circuit. Uh, if you already have fuel zone in hand, so fuel zone is just the nuts. Now after traps, you play triple side frame overload. This card is absolutely amazing. It's just one of those trap cards that help you boost up psychic fuel zone, uh, and uh, it's one of those one of the best trap cards in this deck. Well, I I, I only play six trap cards, so I can guarantee that this is the best trap card in the deck. Uh, is is because one uh, side frame overload basically does that. You can banish a face up uh, side frame monster on the field or one side frame uh, monster in your hand. And what you, you banish one card on the field face down. So basically, you can banish your opponent's spell, spell, spell and traps. You can banish your opponent monsters, and he's just really, really good for that. And it, of course, interrupts a lot of a lot of combo plays. And of course, when he's in the graveyard, you can banish itself to search up any side frame card from your deck to your hand. So side frame overload is just the nuts. This card is amazing. Next one, of course, the Trendo Tribute. You do not have, you do not want to have monsters on. Uh, on the field anyway, so trying to tribute just uh, punish the players that bring out tons and tons of monsters and of course uh, 
if you have an Omega on board and of course a Torrential, you can always dodge a Torrential. So this deck is really, really good at dodging. So Omega dodges basically any destruction card. So uh, Torrential Tribute is just really, really good in this deck. And I would recommend playing Torrential, in my personal opinion. And next you play, of course, double lose one turn. Lose one turn not, does not hurt this deck one bit. is because uh, you, you, you won't have monsters anyways, unless you have an Omega on board. But you can always banish the Omega anyways. Um, so lose so you can activate lose one turn so lose one turn is just absolutely amazing guys just really good it, it, it basically negates your opponent monster effects and uh, you know yeah so lose one turn is really uh, self-explanatory in this deck uh, so you play double lose one turn and it doesn't hurt that you send juice as well is because you send juice normal summon um, so it does not conflict with anything in this deck at all so yeah double lose one turn after the extra deck you play double mega the best synchro monster in this deck Omega is just on, it's, it's just the nuts, it's just so crazy. It banishes a card your opponent controls, uh, it banishes a card in your opponent's hand, so it's just really, really good. Next you play, of course, double, uh, triple Siphon Lord Zeta, amazing as well. It's it's the weaker version of, of course, Omega, but uh, him, 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 him alone is just absolutely amazing. You can banish both this card and uh, your opponent, one face-up attack position, uh, special summon monster your opponent controls, and it comes back, uh, then, then it comes back the next turn, so. Zeta is just really, really good for, for board clearance, and of course, clearing your own board as well. So Zeta is amazing. Next we have of course the Yazzie. It can be targeted. Black Rose, Thought Ruler, Crimson Blader, Sardis Dragon. Sardis Dragon is really good in this deck is because um, it basically tributes itself when it negates. So uh, you can tribute this card. Yeah, you can tribute this card, negate the activation. If you do destroy it during the end phase, it comes back. So let's say your opponent tries to activate any spell or traps uh, or, or monster effects. You tribute Stardust, leaving you with no monsters on board. Then you can activate your side frame cards that you have in your hand. So, um... That's really, really good with Stardust. Stardust has great synergy with this deck for that purpose. So Stardust is amazing. One Colossal Fighter, one Red Hot Archfiend Dragon, one Michael, and of course, uh, one Dragon Sack and one Diamond Dire Wolf. These XYZs are really, really good in this deck is, is because uh, on last resources, Dragon Sack can literally pop itself to destroy a card. So you having no cards on board for you to summon your your Cypher monsters. And of course, Diamond, Di Diamond Dire Wolf is serves as the same purpose. Is But while you really go into XYZs, um, in this deck, but if you need to be to really destroy something, Diamond Dire Wolf destroys itself and also destroys the card your opponent controls, uh, leaving you with no cards on the board, so you can activate your side frame cards. So that's why this XYZ is just really, really good uh, with this deck. So that's it for our extra deck, guys. Now after your side deck, side deck is just really, really personal preference. Um, but yeah, so here is my side deck: double wiretap, amazing, triple debunk, especially against the mirror match and the Necroz matchup, burning abyss. The bunk is absolutely amazing. Uh, you play one loser, uh, the third loser turn uh, in this deck. Uh, triple MST, double Dark Hole, uh, double Cypher from Gear Epsilon. Uh, Epsilon is just really, really good since it, uh, especially against, especially when you're playing against uh, trap heavy decks like Burning Abyss. Uh, Epsilon is just really, really good since you're able to negate that those traps, such as Fire Lake and things like that. So Epsilon just negates the trap of the deck. So it's just really, really good. Next we have, of course, the third Maxi, and last but not least, one Thunder King Ryo. So here it is, guys. This is the deck we have the side frame your send juice. I hope you guys enjoy this deck, and I hope you guys understand my explanations that that I had to explain for you guys. And hopefully, I I didn't speak too fast for you guys. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for your so amazing support. If you guys can give this video a hundred plus likes, that would be absolutely amazing, guys. That 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 that, that would mean a lot to me, guys. I'm not asking for a lot, just 100 plus likes uh, on this video, and that will show me that you guys actually love this 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 type of content. You guys actually love my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be uploading every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I know that this is a Sunday, and I know that I, ha I haven't uploaded on, on, on the Friday. is because I've been super, super busy with school. I have a 12-page essay that I had to write. And so far, I only wrote four, four pages. And it's due to in, 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 in the next week and a half. So I got to get working on that. Uh, so yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Test it out, and make sure you guys let me know how this deck worked out for you. Or if you guys want to give me different suggestions on what not to play and what to play, Please make sure you guys comment. It's because interaction with you guys is really, really essential and it's really important uh, for me as a YouTuber. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, this is Sam from Team Sounds of Sam signing out. And for those of you who actually stayed this long, you guys are the real MVPs. This is Sam from Team Sounds of Sam signing out. Peace out, guys.